there, it's Colleen from Keeping the Peace, Defensive Handgun Training for Women, and today we're going to be doing a disassembly, reassembly of the Smith, Smith & Wesson 4506. Here she is. First thing we're going to do is release the magazine. Set that aside. Going to rack the slide to the rear and lock it so that I can both visually and digitally verify that there is no round in the chamber. I'm going to then release the slide forward. I'm going to retract it until this notch lines up over top of the disassembly pin. Then I'm going to actually push from the other side. I like to use a towel over my finger simply because the edge of what I'm pushing is a little on the sharp side. It's not your typical round knob like on some other guns. So this is a little hard on my finger, so I will just put a towel over it to press it. Once you press it, you can pick it up right out the other side. The slot comes straight off the front. And now you have your parts. You have your recoil spring and guide rod, which are under fairly heavy tension. Be careful when you release them so that you don't shoot them across the, the, the room and hit someone. Then your barrel will pick up and out like so. There's your barrel. So now you have slide barrel, recoil spring, guide rod, disassembly lever slash slide stop, and then your frame. In order to put it back together, there's a couple of little tricks. First, you want to put your barrel back in, let it clink into place. And you want to look here, you've got a couple of little divots. You want to make sure that as you put in your guide rod and recoil spring, that the little lip of your guide rod sits in this divot. Sometimes when you first start putting it in, you'll get to this little ledge and you'll think you're finished, but then it'll slip off and fly across the room. So be careful about that. You want to place your recoil spring into this little area here, and then guide it with your hands so that you don't bend it, and press all the way until you get to that little divot. Again, make sure that you're not just sitting on this ledge because it will slip off and fly across the room, especially when you start trying to put it back on the frame. Now we're going to feed it onto the frame. And you notice that you're going to crash into your ejector. So you can use a fingernail. I like to use one of these little tools from Brownells. It's just super handy. It's easier to get to things. I'm just going to use that to press the ejector down. Once I clear the ejector, I have two more little things here I have to press and clear. Once I've cleared the last one, I'm going to pull my hammer to the rear just to make the tension a little easier. Then I'm ready to put my disassembly pin back in. It's going to go in. You might have to take a little tension off of your slide to get it in. You'll feel the little sweet spot there. Then you're going to retract again until this lines up over top of that hole. Like you did before and it's a fairly tight spring so takes a little bit of muscling make sure you pick this up so that you don't scratch your frame press it down release the tension off of your slide make sure that everything racks and this particular gun you're gonna to have to put your magazine in in order to drop the hammer to make sure that everything's good I like to do that at least twice and everything's great so there's the disassembly reassembly of the Smith & Wesson Model 4506. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.